Hi everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. Just wanted to say thank you for all your kind words and support and thank you for taking the time to sit and watch this video. I hope you're going to enjoy the beautiful colour scheme that you're about to see. My hair should give it away and I hope that you please don't fast forward unless you really need to because that's your way of thanking me, the artist, for taking the time to put my art out there and share it with you. I would love to know what you think of this piece and yeah I'm going to skip right to the time to watch because I'm Sharon and I'm digressing. <laughs> Enjoy your video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! Hi welcome back. I'm just going over a piece that I did the other day that in principle I enjoy but I didn't execute it well so we'll go back to that one and show you. So I've just applied some clear resin and on this piece I'm using art resin and I am just about to start um, mixing up my mica powders. The one you see in front of you now is from the Colour Cottage and it's Midnight Black. At this point I'm not really sure where I am going with this, I just know I wanted to try and capture a little bit of black in there and tone it through with my silvers, the blue and the purple. I'm currently mixing up the silver mist which again is the colour cottage and I'm slowly gradiating it through and I don't really have a preset idea. Originally I tended to keep some of the silver from underneath through but as I started to apply my resin that wasn't going to happen. So I have moved on to the Resonate Metallic, which is a silver colour. So you can see that I'm getting a lighter shade through there as I move on to my Bluebird Blue, which is from the Colour Cottage. I worked with this colour palette on the one underneath and I really enjoyed it. But I just wanted to see if I could create something uh, pretty special, but using just these colours that I used before. You'll see that I mix up finally my Heather Glen and I'm going to apply some heat quick very shortly to remove the bubbles and also to see what happens when these colour bleed into them. The Resonate Metallic Paste has got me quite intrigued because that can help create uh, some special effects and it also absorbs the colours around it. I have noted though when it does dry, it does dry a lot deeper in colour. But I'm going to keep experimenting it because I love it and I've also got a gold and a bronze to experiment with. As I apply it on, again, no pre preset idea of what I want to happen. I'm just going to let the colours do what it wants to do. And then I'm hoping that on the background, it will give me some inspiration of where to start taking this. This is where I start to bring through some specific lines. Again, I'm just going with what I'm seeing in front of me. And then when I apply these lines, how does that feel for me? I wanted to keep the essence of the background in there because the heat gun and the blowtorch had created some pretty special effects. I wasn't too sure if these effects would stay there or if they would be diluted. But I really did enjoy the lines that I created. And working with our resin, what I found for me personally is the curing time is actually a hindrance for me because when I go in and do my sculpting with my stick, which is like a paintbrush, didn't hold the lines very well uh, whereas when I use Mastercast because it cures a lot quicker it's easier to put your lines in and it retain that but that's just some information that uh, I find when working with the two different resins but I'd love to know your thoughts on that.
I hope you're feeling very relaxed after that music. I thought I'd let you just get lost into my creative process. You'll have seen me applying my mixation glue and glitter, which would have embellished the lines that I created in my resin when it was wet. Now it's cured, some of the lines have disappeared a little bit, so I wanted to just emphasize that. And I didn't have any preset idea, I just did a bit at a time. And the flower and the little bit that you see me applying were from my drip offs. I save every bit and I've been waiting to see how I can use them. So I worked with the tones, the shape, and just added enough, I think, that made it look um, like there was interesting features and also some different depths and heights and textures. The little round circles that you can see, the bigger ones, they are from one of my silicone moulds that I've been testing and I'm due to release a video on that. But I found this a very relaxing process. I really got lost in my imagination and my creative all the glitter that you'll see coming off, don't stress, I kept all of that and I have as little waste as possible and keep recycling it. But yeah, I'm really, really, really pleased with how um, adding these uh, drip offs um, helped this picture as well as the glitter. You can never have enough glitter girls and boys. As you can see here, my glitter is due to come off, so I shake it off, like Dave Tay Swift says. <laughs> I also use a soft paintbrush, and I use that just to sweep off the glitter, and I capture it in a piece of paper where I can reuse it. Ideally, I'd like to keep my glitter tones separate uh, and put them back into the tub there that they belong. Uh, but on this it was a near on impossible mission so I've got a very nice mash of purple, blue and grey glitter that actually looks quite special. Um, it might seem quite time consuming but I think it's very rewarding and worth it. You want to remove as much of that excess glitter as you can so when you apply your final coat of let <laughs> resin it's in the areas that you're wanting it to be and I just didn't want it to just be glitter just randomly anywhere um, and obviously you're always going to get that little bit when you've applied glitter but I wanted to control that as much as possible but I really loved how that dark blue started to pop off it really did um, complement the lines that were underneath it and made it feel raised and I applied just a little bit to my flower. I didn't want to dilute that too much. I wanted to keep it as true a resin as possible but I felt it just needed a tiny little um, highlight on the little edges that pop out so I really love this piece it glitters so much it reminds me of Christmas and it's so happy but I hope you've got some ideas and I'd love to know how you're going to use them in your piece Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. I have just finished working on 
this beautifully blinged up happy piece and I wanted to bring in and show you. So I have added a lot of glitter and I've also added some of my drip offs from some of my other work and some things from my silicone mold. So I'm going to bring you down so you can see that some of these stand up and are quite like that. It's added a lot of texture and depth. So I'm going to show you a little bit of the things that I like. This purple is just exquisite. Where I've gone across these swirls here, you would have seen in my video, I used my pencil to shape them. But what I found for me personally is Art Resin doesn't hold the shape as well as Mastercast. Probably because you've got a longer working time and some people will love that. But if you're doing a fine detail work that I want, it's made it more challenging. Hence why I went and embellished this. But overall, I love the results and I love what this tiny little bit of glitter put my teeth in have done to these three pieces it makes them look like they're floating so i am going to zoom in on these so these are some of my drip offs and the colors and tones blends in so beautifully to this piece but when you look at them they're so interesting on themselves and these again are drip offs which have got their own little characters but complement this piece well and this is my silicone molds that you're going to see on a video soon that I was testing what I could use them for and what they look like. So I am going to bring up and I'm going to try and show you just how sparkly and shimmery this piece is. So humor me while I move it around on my hand without dropping it because it's not 100% cured. Just so you can get a feeling for just how sparkly, oops, sorry. <laughs> How sparkly this piece is and I don't know if I'm going to do it justice but it really is vibrant and happy when you see it in person and I find that's the challenge for me really showing you how the depth of these colors really work I really love this piece okay close your eyes while I move it around if you get a little bit dizzy <laughs> But ultimately, I'm very happy and I would love to know how you have used your leftover pieces or drip-offs from resin. And I'd love to know what you think of this piece. So you know the drills, ladies and gentlemen. If you like my art, thumbs up, subscribe and share. Comments are always welcome because I love to interact with you. And let me know what you've been using with your drip-offs. Other than that, I want you to have a wonderful time with your family and friends. And I want you to have the most amazing day. And remember to be creative. I'll see you on the next video.